Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. Today's video is full of really exciting news when it comes to Cold War zombies and even Cold War in general. So last week we ended up getting Firebase Z's release, right? The DLC 1 map for Cold War zombies. And alongside that there was a few other things and they are the final things to be released for Season 1 of Cold War. And with that update and the map release came a lot of stuff inside of the files that maybe shouldn't have been there. And there's always people inside the community that go into those files to figure out what they are. And some of the things are super, super exciting with regards to Cold War Zombies. So you guys have already seen the title of the video and man oh man am I excited about this. One of the things that was discovered is that during Season 2 at some point we will be getting Samantha Maxis as a playable character inside of Cold War. That's right, Samantha Maxis, you guys know her, she's been inside the zombie storyline since World of War and we've very recently seen her in the ending cutscene to the new Zombies map Firebase Z. She's now going to be an operator inside of Cold War, which is amazing because ever since the release of Cold Cold War, that's one thing that everyone has kind of agreed with, is the fact that operators make the zombie storyline feel a little bit weird. Normally with other zombies maps in the past, we've been able to enjoy the characters, enjoy the quotes, get used to that person as a zombie specific playable character. And Cold War didn't really feel like that, mainly because they are multiplayer characters or campaign characters that we can now cross over and play with inside of zombies. But at least with this news of getting Samantha Maxis as a playable character, it's gonna mean zombies might feel a little bit more like zombies again. Not saying that Cold War Zombies is bad because I'm loving it at the minute, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So one of the things about this Samantha Maxis bundle that I'm not massively happy about, which I'm sure you guys are going to let me know inside of the comment section right now, is the fact that this is going to be a bundle to purchase in the store, or at least at the minute that's what it looks like. I always wanted the Zombies team over at Treyarch to do stuff like this as an Easter egg quest reward. Let's say for example you beat Firebase Z, you then unlock the operator Samantha Maxis. But right now with these leaks, it seems like it's going to be a purchable bundle from the store. And don't get me wrong, I'm totally gonna buy this and use Samantha Maxis all the time. But I think rewarding the player with something as little as an operator would have been pretty darn cool. So let me know inside of the comment section. Do you agree with me with that? Should it be an Easter egg reward or are you happy to just buy it inside of the store? Let me know. But as part of that bundle, Samantha Maxis isn't the only thing that you're gonna be able to get with that. You also seem to get a type of Mastercraft weapon, which in the description says that it has a reactive camo. And why is this interesting? Well, Cold War hasn't got reactive camos. The last time we saw a Treyarch game with reactive camos was all the way back with Black Ops 4. And if you guys don't know what a reactive camo is, it's basically a camouflage that you put on your weapon and the more kills you get or the more challenges you do, that camo will then change. So let's say the base camo is yellow, you get more kills, it might turn purple or it might turn blue. It changes its state throughout the game, which I always really enjoyed. We have seen certain things inside of Cold War similar to this, just like Mastercraft's kind of returned, especially with that AK-47 with the rockets on the back. I always thought that was really cool. But with reactive camos returning, I think that's really good. And I'm just praying that Cold War Zombies will get a weapon armory where we can choose a specific camo for every single weapon that we get inside of the mystery box. Because at the minute, there was no point grinding for Dark Ether. And even though loads of people have got it, including myself, it's just really pointless. You grind and grind and grind for days to get that camo that you can then only place on one weapon per game, which is going to be the weapon you start with, which means it's a base weapon, which means it's weak. And it takes a long time to rank that up, meaning you don't really get to see that camo as much as you would like if you're only playing zombies. And also with that Samantha Max's weapon, it states that it's going to have pink tracer rounds as well, which I love. I love any kind of tracer rounds. Now, one of the things that this leak has been saying is that it's not actually going to be on every single weapon though, which is probably another really bad move. It seems like the reactive camo is only going to be able to be placed on one weapon, and that's the weapon that comes with the bundle. So we're kind of stuck in the same situation. I'm really hoping Treyarch just make their weapons armory and open up every camo that we have on specific weapons to every single one. And as well as the Samantha Maxis bundle, there was also another reactive camo bundle found in the files, but it didn't really state what it was. Oh, and also on top of that, we've got five new weapons coming inside of Cold War, inside of Season 2. We saw a lot of new weapons inside of Season 1 get added, like the Street Sweeper shotgun. We also had a katana added, as well as a sledgehammer. And of course, some of the stuff that we got inside of the Battle Pass, like the new AR and also the SMG Mac 10 But there's going to be five brand new weapons that have already been discovered for Season 2, and most of them sound really exciting. There's going to be a brand new bolt action sniper rifle, as well as a new submachine gun. And the final three are the ones that are getting me the most excited. One being a machete as a melee weapon, which sounds pretty good. And hopefully maybe we'll get a variant of that and actually have the real Bowie knife inside of the game. I think that would be very, very cool. And there's another melee weapon, which is going to be the shovel, which is kind of surprising we didn't get it dropping with Firebase Z, considering you can pick up a shovel on Firebase Z. I thought it would have been cool to actually hold it and have the animation of digging those canisters up during the Easter egg. But yeah, another one of the weapons is a shovel. And the final one, 
which I'm super hyped about, is going to be a crossbow. We've had crossbows in Call of Duty for a long time now, and they're always super fun to use. And if you guys remember back to other zombie games, whenever you upgrade a crossbow using the Pack-a-Punch machine, it works very similar to a monkey bomb, where you fire the upgraded shot on the ground, and all the zombies will hoard around that arrow stuck to the ground. So I'm hoping it does the exact same thing there. So there you go. I wanted to make this video today to just hype you guys up about Season 2. Just know that even though Firebase Z released a week ago, there's still so much more hype stuff to come inside of Season 2, as well as new zombies as well, of course. We've got new zombie game modes and also a new zombies map near the end of Season 2 as well. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you are brand new. See you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching and peace out. Oh,